It's the Daily 304's presentation of famous people, places, and events that shaped West Virginia. Welcome to the History Project. Today we take a look at the chemical industry. Of all West Virginia's industries, the chemical industry stands on the shoulders of the rest. Chemical manufacturers were drawn to the Kanawha Valley by the salt industry, made use of the cheap energy of coal and natural gas industries, and sent out their products via railroads and rivers using her transportation industries. The state's first plant was the Bell Alkali Company, built in Bell in 1915 to produce hydrogen by electrolysis from the salt brine. South Charleston saw the birth of the Rollin Chemical Company and E.C. Klipstein & Sons sulfur dye plant that same year. Union Carbide purchased them both and used them as the base for developing petrochemicals while establishing a tech center that brought brilliant chemical engineers to the Kanawha Valley. Also built around that time was the West Vaco plant, the world's largest chlorine producer. Further downriver, DuPont was building a new facility for the U.S. government to create nitrocellulose for explosives to be used in World War I. Hence was born the town of Nitro, where a young Clark Gable came from Ohio to work one of his first jobs. The region became known as Chemical Valley, attracting industry giants like Dow, Bayer, and Monsanto. In 1984, however, the chemical industry was forever changed when a toxic gas leak at a Union Carbide plant in Bhopal, India, took the lives of over 3,000 people. This spelled the end of the company, and it was taken over by Dow. Other ecological problems understandably tamed the industry. Today's chemical plants managed to show greater respect for the ecosystem, and the former tech center transformed into the West Virginia Regional Tech Park, an even greater research asset for the state. <laughs>